I have seen this man eat, and though I love him to bits, I don't like to see his soup, you know. You want an exclusive? You if dine on them. You're going to be eating dinner on this for a week. We've seen from the, the interviews that lunch is very kindly granted in the past. He gets, he gets himself into a little bit of bother. I'm an Anglophile. Same as anyone. I'm not ashamed of that. I don't go door to door telling everybody about it, you know? I have to keep an eye on him. I want to get this on record because this is important for me and maybe for your wife as well. If I'm the car, he's the road. I'm kind of his shadow. And the shadow, that's what I call me sometimes. I could exist without money, but I couldn't live without it. And he brings it home. He brings home the bacon, gammon, I enjoy, and uh, croquettes uh, from Thebo. Uh, pancetta, you know, don't forget, pan the little, little bits. I love that stuff. I have a paddling pool full of that. Gold, you see. It's, uh, you know, gold, uh, gold is the thing. Gold And cats. He likes cats. Would you say lunch has any bizarre demands on set? Bizarre, well, what do you mean bizarre? You know, we're all, we're all unique. I only know the names of most of my kids, my dog, my butler, and my mother's maiden name, because otherwise I couldn't get into online banking. He does have a few shurikens. Uh, you know, throwing star. Yeah, it's a throwing star. We all know he's a fan of uh, James Kahn. Uh, and I love kids, I love kids. I love doing kids TV. Kids movies. I mean, you've probably seen um, Espionage Children. You seen that one? Uh, yeah, I love that one. Yeah, so do I. I mean, I you know I can watch myself until the cows go brown. Yeah, it's interesting that you play the only adult in that. Yeah. Well, I play the voice of the kids as well. I mean, a lot of people don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. In 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 post production, I decided that the acting of the kids was fine, but their cadence was slightly less than articulate. So in that movie, I, none of the characters, they're all dubbed by me. Yeah, you know, you didn't know that as a bit of trivia. It's on it's IMDb, I think. But yeah, but yeah, none of the espionage, even the little girl. You think you put my voice through a filter to make me a girl? I just talk high up. It's easy. Did that get you out of having to pay them or? Pay who? The kids. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't. Finances are not my forte. He wanted to get like, you know, a huge vessel with kind of, you know, going down with the kind of screaming 10-foot Smurfs drowning. Wow, well, who, who talked him out of that or is that in, in the in film? In 3D, in 3D. What role does your son, Fridge Dolphin, play in this film? My son? Fridge. <laughs> what? Sorry, my who? Fridge Dolphin? I thought he was in... Yeah, it's a coincidence. Fridge Dolphin is a, is a guy. He's Belgian. Oh, he's not your son. He's a very talented young man, I'll say that. I employ him because he is diligent, conscientious, and a great catch for any girl out there, but he is no relation of mine. You know how there has never been two people with the same DNA ever? If you test his and it's like mine, that is the first time that has ever happened by coincidence. Right, so... So I can't say any more that he is absolutely not my loin fruit. It just sounds rather suspicious the way you said he's dead. Well, no, no. Well, you know, I mean, he's, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, they haven't found him yet, but I can assure you. I had a lot of questions about you working with your son, but if you say he's not your son, then they're pretty irrelevant. No, no, no. Yeah. There's a lot of people called Dolphin in, in Bruges. I mean, there's me, there's Fridge Dolphin, you know, a lot of people. We came to blows over that thing, uh, the monkey. And, yeah, yeah, it was, it was one of those things, you know. Why did you want it in the first place? Well, you know, well, who, doesn't, who doesn't want a baboon? And, you know, for sort of uh, fingerprint purposes, you know, they look very much like humans' fingerprints. So. Yeah. Certain areas I'm desired, let's say. My personage is desired uh, in a kind of maximum security scenario. So, you know, baboon always comes in handy. In terms of our friendship, I will simply say this. Sunrise, sunset... Apocalypse. I make sure that what he wants, he gets. So, we will come, we will go, and eventually we will never speak again. Well, I mean, In our is, joint grave. Well, this is what I, you know, before we met, we, we had already met. We were together before the dawn of time, you know. 
So what's next for you both when the cameras stop rolling? What is next is always sequel. Everything I do is a sequel to what I did before. When I go home tonight, it's a sequel to me going home last night. When I have breakfast tomorrow, it's a sequel to today's breakfast. So this is a sequel, the next one is a trilogy, and the third one will be a quadrilogy of six. So that's eight movies spread over ten cinematic experiences into a series of nine. Okay. I call it the mm -hmm. nine logic. Mm -hmm. So 24 episodes on a box set across 80 glorious hours of entertainment. Within those films are sub-movies. So what I am making is an infinite number of short films, which all combine to create a life. Has that answered your, answered your question in I, enough I, detail? I think so, we might come back to it later. Oh, we could scrutinize it later, yeah. yeah, yeah Unless yeah. there's anything else you want to add. I mean, and now you've really, you've seen the face of my answer, but you haven't taken its fingerprints. So we'll take those later on, maybe. We have all the time in the girl.